Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too? That way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Uh. It's time, guys. If you have a bug nightmare, you may not want to watch this video because it is time for the feeding, for the battle to take place. It's not a real huge battle, everyone. I was just messing with you, but we do have some giant hornworms. Here they are. And we have lots of them. It's, uh, it's dinner time. And we are sorting Simba's dinner. So I had some hornworms here. And I'm going to kind of go over them in a little bit, guys. But no, you don't keep them like this. Although I've had them like this today because I want them to get some extra moisture content from a tomato. Since they're tomato hornworms. So I took them out of where you normally have them. Normally, you have them in something like this. And you have like a protein solution. It's the one I use. It's pretty good. It comes in bags. You don't have to make the whole bag at one time. You can reduce it down. But um, you'll keep them flipped over in a container like this. And they'll eat and their poop will fall to the ground. And every day I just dump their poop out. These containers will be slotted. And then when they get bigger, I move them to a bigger container. Same thing. So normally guys, if you find online the, if you buy hornworms online, most people do because most people don't breed them because you have to get moths and it's not like dubia roaches, pain in the butt. Um, but they give you like this amount of food, right? So here's the thing, the container size and the amount of food is always the same. If you buy the 12 to 15 count, you're getting this container with this much food. If you buy the 25 to 30 count, you're getting this container and this much food. So what does that mean? Well, it means your 25 to 30 count, you're going to get much smaller hornworms because they're going to eat all of the food and they're going to take up too much room before they get huge. So these hornworms came with these hornworms. They were all the same. They came at the same time. Um, so when these guys got big, I take them out. You know, I, and I put, I, when everything first comes, let me start over. I leave them to, like they are, just like they are, and I let them eat, and I let them eat, and then I start to see the sizes that things are getting to, and when I open up to clean them for the day, I organize them so all the big ones come into one, all the smaller ones go into another, so they don't get messed with, and so they don't kill each other, and so they can focus on more food. But regardless, when they're getting this big, you're gonna run out of food if you get the 25 to 30 count. Now, a lot of times though, you save money per hornworm if you get the larger amount. So what does that mean? Well, if you've got bugs that eat hornworms a lot, buy the larger counts, save the containers, and buy food. You boil some water, I believe this, two ounces of this with one cup of boiling water, whisk it around, um, you take the hornworms out of here, pour, you pour it in when it's hot, and you know it's going to be facing upright I put it in the fridge to let it harden and it becomes hard and then you put the hornworms back in I don't know it's like a from start to finish from the start of boiling the water to where it was cool enough in the fridge is maybe three hours so it's not bad at all but definitely do that move your hornworms around and when they get big and you're getting ready to feed them since they've been eating protein their whole life I just soup them up with some type of vegetable. I like tomatoes. They can just suck that because then guys, you get, you get these big massacres that are not only full of protein, they're full of moisture. They're full of water. Um, so they're going to be really good hydration too, whether you feed them to beard, bearded dragons or anything like that. These are all going to go to Simba. So first we've got to wash because, well, we're not going to give him like the soup and some of them got stuff on there, so we're just going to give these guys a rinse under the sink. This is what we're left with after the rinsing. Just massive hornworms. Look at this. Look at this. Let's pick
pick them all up here. Look at this. It's going to be delicious for him. Yum. Okay. You guys know where we are. We are in front of Simba's enclosure. Which means it's time for the sacrifice to take place. Yep. Oh yeah. Is that good? You want another? Look at this big look at this big juicy boy. Well, there it goes. Down the hatch. What if I take two big guys, two or three, and just put them down there? Oh! What a disaster. That shot its guts out all over me. Blew right out. Shot sideways. I wonder if the camera picked that up. Hungry? Oh! Yep, there that goes. Mmm. Good moisture. You like these? Very chewy. Here, back up. Try stay in frame. Can you stay in frame? They pop in your head up. You're coming out of frame. Oh my goodness. And then look what you did. Wait a second. Oh my god, you're gonna fall out of the cage. Let me get it for you. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, he's a psycho. Back this up. Pull this up. No, you're not eating the camera. Here you go. Oh, Jesus. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to load these guys up on fluid so they'll be nice and hydration for them. Another. When we come back, another notch. Bam! Is that good? Alright, I want to try to get some close-ups of you eating here. There we go. Let's see what type of trouble this runs into. Okay. Okay. That actually went not horrible. Ooh! Massive explosion. Alright, there's the rest. He just just takes two down like it's nothing. Look at him. What a cute boy. He's got some guts there. That's alright. That's alright. One more. Last one. It's right there. Good boy! Good. Look how proud he is. Look how proud he is. This is always important. Know your lizards, know your snakes. He's not a snake, although he has a feed response. He's not a snake that's going to still attack me. Here I come. Right to him. Good. Good job. Is that good? Was that delicious? His tongue is out. His eyes. He's looking very curious. He's smelling. He's looking around. That was a good boy. Yep. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. It's been a long video. All right, guys, thank you so much for commenting and liking the videos. I can't tell you how much those likes help and these comments help, but the, the likes push YouTube's algorithm to recommend the videos. Patreon, you guys are doing great. I love all the questions you're giving for the Q&A special. Um, so we'll do the Patreon Q&A special, and then we'll do uh, a special for just YouTubers that will come up after. We're getting close to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for helping, uh, just helping me rescue these guys. You know, it's helped a ton. And I know I say that in every video and I'll probably continue to say it in every video because I'm just shocked every time how many people sign up for Patreon and donate, even if they donate a dollar. Some people donate 20 bucks. I mean, it just blew my mind. And then uh, the amount of viewers to help spread this awareness is huge. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Take care. We're going now, okay? You wanna wave goodbye? Goodbye. It was a bad wave, but we'll deal with it.